Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can create a workflow for purchase order without any event. So generally an event is something like saving a PO, like this saving a PO or changing a PO and all those things. But now what we are going to do is we can trigger the workflow on an ad hoc basis whenever you want from ME23 and transaction, ME22 and ME21 and ME22N and ME23N. So here, suppose this is the purchase order workflow that I want. Uh, this is the purchase order and I want to a workflow on this. Okay. So, and this is this one we will build as custom. Okay. So here, what we have to do, first thing is we have to get the business object from here. So first thing we'll go workflow. I'll go to archive workflow. Okay. And here I will note the business object the object type bus 2012 so now after this we are going to go to pftc so slash and pftc and we are going to create another workflow which is we'll just give a name c 11 we'll say po workflow and all okay so we we'll just click create and we'll say standalone workflow pretty simple we go here we click here and now we will save it now the next step is we are going to do it local object that's fine we are going to go to container okay and here we'll just create a container element which is our purchase order pretty simple control c control v control v I love control C, control V. <laughs> so, you, so should you. Okay, so here I'll go to business object and I'll put bus 2012. Now here we go to properties, import, export. I'll just make this and we'll just click the green arrow. So now our workflow is done. If you notice, I'm not going to do anything on the triggering event. This is the major thing that I'm not going to do anything. Okay, so I'll go to basic data. I'll go to workflow builder. And now I'll put some steps. Okay, so we'll just see what we can do. So here I will just select, uh, I'll create and I'll say, uh, I'll create a decision task. Uh, and here we will mention, uh, uh, Purchase order and we'll put a parameter. Uh, we'll put parameter. Uh, so I'll put uh, this purchase order for your uh, okay. So I'll just give this and here. I'll give purchase order number. So I'll go here. <clears throat> here you can see purchase order it's coming so purchase order and expression i'll put just for the simplicity i'll make it wf batch which will be workflow initiator okay uh, so it would be me sorry and here i will say display and uh, and we will say uh, or display and then we'll say correct okay just for the heck and we'll put control y i'll just copy this control c and again you can you can change whatever you want so i'll make it this control oops and copy that's fine let's play and, uh, and we'll say correct okay now this is done what we are going to do we'll click the green arrow okay and we just want to make sure uh, before we go further that this is green so this is green otherwise the workflow will not show up now our workflow part is near to done but now is the place where we have to do the trick okay so the special stuff we have to do is go go to, just go to additional data oops sorry i go to additional data agent assignment and I go to maintain okay here I click on this click on attribute 
and I click on general task. So before I do this, let me show what what really happened here. So let me show what what is the before and after. So here I will be starting the workflow from workflow start workflow. If I click on this, okay, there there is this workflow that is already available but now we are going to put another workflow that's our workflow okay so so he, here is the screenshot let's we go here general task we'll just click on transfer okay and now we'll click on this green arrow and we'll save it that's it now we are going here again we click here the create workflow we click on start workflow <clears throat> and for some reason this didn't show up so let me go here slash n and e 23 n and workflow and sometimes it may happen that since it, you have still doesn't show that's strange okay let me go here just to make sure additional 18 its decision general task is there so let me do one thing sometimes what happens it it doesn't like multiple workflows so i'll just do c test okay and so this is this one i'll go in change mode I go to additional data agent assignment to maintain and here it's not z test it's attribute is make this transfer make this save now what I can do is Well, sometimes what happens the workflow doesn't get synchronized okay so we have to refresh the buffer so here synchronization happens okay that's fine now me23n I go now and we click on workflow start workflow And now you see it got we have this workflows that we wanted so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day